thank you for joining us here at Heart Ministry Radio Network. I am Brenda Divers, and this is the Extraordinary People Broadcast. I'm excited today to have with me Dr. Marcy Bryant. And Dr. Marcy is the, the founder of Building the Virtuous Temple Ministries. I just love that. Oh, thank Building you. Building so the Virtuous <laughs> Temple Ministries. Praise God. So, before we get started, Dr. Marcy, into the ministry, my first question and my favorite is What was your conversion experience and how you came to know the Lord? Can you share that? Oh, yes. That is a very, very touching and personal experience for me mm -hmm. because uh, a lot of people are surprised to find this out. But at the age of 26, I really wanted to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. My life was in shambles. Mm -hmm. I thought there was no place in the world for me to go. Um, I had two small children, but they had their father, so I said he would take care of them. Mm -hmm. And um, and I just wanted to end it all because nothing was going right as far as I was concerned. Mm -hmm. But God had someone who knew my my activities and my personalities to follow me that morning. They said it was odd that I would get up and leave the house so early. Mm -hmm. And um, so they followed me because it didn't make sense. And when they saw that I was about to jump over the, uh, the, the river, mm. this hand caught mine. My, my, my. And I remember that mm. rage and I remember trying to pull away and, I, and then all of a sudden the rage just left me. And then when I saw what I was about to do, mm. I just broke down and I just... I just, all I could do, I didn't know God personally, mm -hmm. but all I could do was like say, oh God, I thank you. I thank you that you didn't let me kill myself. Mm -hmm. And I went to church uh, that, uh, that Sunday and then for the next three Sundays. And I listened to the message that the preacher was preaching. And it was like the words were coming at me mm -hmm. and, I, and I would push them away because I never saw myself as a sinner mm. needing a savior because yes, I yes. wasn't doing anything wrong. I wasn't mistreating people. I, I went to church and in my mind, I was a good girl. Yeah, yeah. And, but yeah, I, mm. these words were saying that you're a sinner and you need a savior. And I just broke down crying mm. and they took me out of the main congregation and, um, they started ministering to me and, um, I accepted Christ as my Savior, and I did, couldn't explain it to anybody. Mm. But when I left the church that day, I knew that my life would never be the same Praise again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I love, again, this is my favorite question. Okay. Because of how he draws us all. Yes. You know, of course, we were chosen before the foundation of the world. That's mm -hmm. already been settled. It's already been written. But the way we see it acted out. Yes. You know, that he sent an angel to watch you that day. Yes, he did. And yeah. I am so glad he did because when I look back now and I see where I am today, mm. I thank God that he is in control yes. and not us. Yes, praise <laughs> the Lord. Praise the Lord because building the virtuous temple had to come. Yes. And that was an amazing journey too, finding that because I was in the Bible uh, dealing with... Um, the, the the scripture that talks about on the road to Damascus. Mm. And, I mean, I'm sorry, on the Jericho Road. Okay. On the Jericho, Jericho Road. Road. And um, and how the, the person fell among the thieves and was half dead mm. and half alive. Yeah. And I said, God, why won't you let me leave this scripture? Why do I mm. keep coming back to it? I said, am I supposed to name the ministry on the Jericho Road? I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> and I, God kept me reading and reading for days. And then all of a sudden... He says, your ministry will be dealing with the part of the individual mm. that is half alive. Not because half dead. Not half dead, he says. Mama. Because, see, he's the one that's going to raise the dead side. Yes, yes. He wanted me to deal with the part that was still Bye. alive. And he said, you're going to build them up because they are going to be my mm. temples and thus yes. building the virtuous temple. Praise the Lord. Yes. That's powerful. Yes. And, and I, I was like, wow. And and God just... God he, raises the dead. He, he God, mm. he's, God said, I'll deal with that part that's dead, yes. but you deal with the part. You that's allow me to alive. live with the part that's half alive. And see, this is so... 
exciting for me. Okay. Be, just to see how God puts things together because that's a God thing. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. how do you think of things like that? <laughs> and know, I could not. And then from where I came, because I was going to go and kill, just think, I was mm. going to take my own life. Yeah, yeah. And then for God to give the ministry building the virtuous mm. temple, he actually built me up over wow. the years. He built this temple, and but I had to go his way. Yes. I couldn't go mine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about Dr. Marcy, the woman, the woman. Okay, well, I was raised in the South, mm -hmm. and I was raised at a time in an era when children were seen and not, not heard. heard. <laughs> and if you had a thought that was different Ooh. than your parents or your elders, mm -hmm. you best keep it to yourself okay. if you didn't want to get your face slapped off, okay? <laughs> and so I had a problem with being able to communicate my feelings mm -hmm. and 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 uh, living to please. And I think that's why I've got so messed up in my mm -hmm. early adult life mm -hmm. because I didn't know who I was. I didn't know where I was belong belonged. So I was constantly trying to please people, please okay. people, and then realized one day I was pleasing absolutely nobody. No but, yes. th but I didn't know who I was. And so it took that conversion experience for God to start building me, the person, mm -hmm. and I knew I wanted an education. I went back to school as an adult. My children were in elementary school, and they have this little joke mm -hmm. that mom's been in school as long as we had. <laughs> it took me, it, I was in school, it took me about, about 17, 18 years wow. just to get a bachelor's degree. That's how I was going to school, taking one class at a time, working a full-time job, raising two kids. But I would, wouldn't give would up. Not give up. I would not give up. So, yes. so, so I'm a persistent person, mm. especially if it's something that I want. Yes. If one way doesn't work, I find another way, and um, and I keep at it. And and I learn not to listen to other people mm -hmm. because of the fact that yeah. as a young age that's what I did yes. so I knew they couldn't help me mm -hmm. and, and that didn't work and that didn't work mm -hmm. so I, I'm a firm believer you don't beat the dead horse if it's not working mm -hmm. leave it alone and find another way okay. <laughs> and um, and then there were times when I felt so alone in this world in a world full of people and yet the, the right desire back. and the passion mm -hmm. was so strong that sometimes I had to go alone mm -hmm. as far as people were concerned. Yeah. But at night, I would be crying out like, God, unless you show me a door, unless you help me, I don't know how I can do this. Yeah. And it was like God would always send the right people mm -hmm. across my path. Yeah. Or he would open a door that I didn't see. And then I would get so excited all over again right. because the excitement keeps me yes. running. When yes. I'm excited, boy, I can run. I can run. Mm. And, and folks are standing back and say, that woman is out there on twigs. They said, we would have never done what she's doing. And thing. yet they would watch it work out. And then that's basically okay, how I got a following. People started following me because they would see the energy and mm -hmm. they saw that what I said and what I did matched up. And that's Praise another thing about me. Mm -hmm. I try not to say one thing and, and do, do another. Else. So your consistency in your walk, mm -hmm. the fervor and the fervor. consistency. Yes, yes. You just said something, felt alone in a world full of people. I think that's something. Yes. Uh, I don't know what God's going to do with that. But that <laughs> feeling alone... Um, and a world full, full of people. people. How yeah. profound. Uh, it, it was because there were times when it seemed like nobody understood where I was coming mm -hmm. from or what I was trying to yeah, do. Yeah. And none of the words that I was using or the or the projects that I was working on mm -hmm. seemed to interest anybody. So it would make me question myself. Yeah, yeah. And then I would, and then I felt like God, I can't do this without help. I mean, you know, God, show me something. Yes, yes. Nobody is interested. And those are times mm -hmm. when God allowed me to understand that. Look at your circle. Look at who's your surrounding. Mm -hmm. It's time to go outside of your comfort zone. It's time for you to go on a path mm -hmm. where you're going to meet the connections yes. where you won't feel so all alone. And I think that that's why some people are, because the the, the places where they are most known, mm -hmm. and I um, and I think it's, it's um, there's a scripture in the Bible that says a prophet is without honor in his own country. Yeah. 
And so that's what I was trying to make what the vision was mm -hmm. work in my own in country. country. Yes. And I had to go beyond that. And it just opened up a brand new world. Oh, so and that's old. when I stopped feeling alone mm -hmm. in a world full of people because God connected me with people that had similar visions, yes, light yes. vision, not necessarily yes. the same, mm -hmm. but but they were connected on a track. Sure. Yeah, they were on a, a pathway to having their dreams come true and we found something in common and a whole new world opened up. Wow, wow. I guess I love just this platform. Yes. To meet people like you, Dr. Marcy. <laughs> but, you know, because you bring inspiration and motivation, mm -hmm. right? And one of our um, taglines is to open the doors to your heart. These are the kinds of things that get down deep inside of you. Yes. And give you that courage yes. to open those things mm -hmm. within you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? So mm -hmm. praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Building the um, Virtuous Temple Ministries. That was founded in 1994. Mm -hmm. How was that? Founded? It was founded initially as uh, an outreach ministry to women only because my being a woman and some of the things that I had overcome to be in the ministry and to be growing in the ministry, mm -hmm. God wanted me to touch the lives of other women. And uh, I remember uh, telling God that I can't do this. And... Um, and so anyway, he convinced me otherwise mm -hmm. because he shut every door that was working in my life at that time okay. except the ministry door. And when I answered the ministry call, then he opened those doors back up. Yes, and that's you know, it was wonderful. <laughs> and so I remember the very first mm -hmm. seminar that God ever gave me to teach those women. It was June 1994, and right. it was Let the Oppressed Go Free. Mm -hmm. And 23 people showed up. And 19 of those 23 were pastors. And I was scared out of my <laughs> mind. I wanted to throw up. I wow. did. I went outside mm. to throw up. I went outside mm. shaking my head saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, what am I going to do? I said, these are pastors. I said, Lord, I just got licensed as a minister, mm -hmm. and you done sent 19 pastors <laughs> up in here <laughs> for, you to teach. for me to teach. Mm. And, you know, some were from New Jersey, some was from Maryland, uh, some was from Delaware. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and, one, and, and the thing that really broke the camel's back was this lady. Uh, came up and said, where's the seminar being held? Now, I'm outside trying to puke. Now. Where's the seminar, Let the Oppressed Go Free? Mm. And I said, well, it's in the main building and it's upstairs on the second floor. Mm -hmm. She says, well, I certainly hope this 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 Marcy Bryant knows what she's talking about because I don't come all the way here from Philadelphia and she better have something to say. And if you <laughs> thought that I was nervous I'm before, done, done, done. I just said, Lord, you know what I'm going to mm. do? I'm going to go back upstairs and I'm going to give these people their money back <laughs> and I'm going to tell them that you know for reasons beyond my control that the seminar will not proceed today and and right in the <laughs> midst of me. my steps God mm -hmm. it was it wasn't an audible voice mm -hmm. but God spoke to me and clearly he said you have prepared for this mm -hmm. day you will not go up up there and 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 send these people away and i said Indeed. but god yeah. i says but they're pastors already he said pastors need teachers mm, too amen i heard amen. that in my head amen. pastors need, need teachers, teachers too. too amen so i went up there and when i got back upstairs the lady that was working with me was introducing me to the group and then i walked in and the lady that had just seen me not too long down mm -hmm. <laughs> I put this big smile on my face and God had just told me he said you you prepared for this yeah. teach what yeah. I have what taught, I taught you, you. Yes. and as God is my mm -hmm. witness before that day was over some of the women were in there crying. People mm. were praising God. Amen. They were saying, I came all the way to Delaware to find out that I was oppressed. Mm. And God has set me free. Praise the name of I, the Lord. I take, that turned my mm. whole thinking around. So for four years, I did the ministry as an outreach. And in the fifth year, the year of grace, mm. that's when we started the church. Praise the Lord. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I love it, Dr. Marcy. Oh, because, you. again, because people are in, you know, we're pastors and we're in mm -hmm. places, sometimes people are afraid to touch. Yes. And there is a word that God has given somebody for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they are afraid to speak it because of 
your doctor. Oh, yes. You know, that kind of thing. Yes. Right? But just that you were obedient. And yes, you and, were obedient and, to that. I thank God for that. And he had to bring me to that point of obedience because remember, I had years of trying to please people yes. and that wasn't working. Yes, right. Then I had those alone, walking mm. alone experience. Yes. So now the only voice that really could move me mm. at that point now was God's voice yes. because I knew what it felt like in those other places and that didn't work. So I had to trust God all and the that way. that stranger you did not follow. How about that? Woo! Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes. So how do we connect with building the Virtuous Temple Ministries? How do we? Oh, mm -hmm. how do how do others connect yes. with it? Oh, mm -hmm. well, we are located in Wilmington, Delaware. We have been nine years at the same location, mm -hmm. which is the Bellevue Community Center, 500 Duncan Road. Okay. And, uh, of course, uh, we have a website, which is bbtschoolofministries.org. Mm -hmm. And um, phone number, of course. 302-893-4018. Um, and of course, they can find me, find my website, uh, P, uh, what, um, find your P, plan, L, life's purpose, con C, contribution.com. Find your PLC.com. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love that. So Dr. Marcy, there are people who are looking and are listening Mm -hmm. and have sort of ventured out into the deep. Okay. Right? And that's mm -hmm. a scary place. Yes, it is. Is there a word for that person who has taken that leap mm -hmm. <laughs> of faith and is out there, you know, where the people are watching? Mm -hmm. Is there a word? Yes. And it's the word that keeps me going when I want to give up. I'm telling you, it is, it is absolutely amazing. It works for me. Mm. Psalms. 56 and 13. That will mm. get me up, out, and going. Yeah. Thou has delivered my soul mm. from death. Yes. Will not thou deliver my feet from falling that I may walk before God in the land of the living or Praise. in the light of the living. Mm. And I thank God for mm. that because... Listen, death is that last enemy that we are going to conquer. And while we are here, we are supposed to live, but not unto ourselves, mm -hmm. but unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. And if we can just hold on to this is why we do what we do. We do it as unto the Lord. Because I tell my congregation mm -hmm. and people that I meet everywhere, when I want to give up, Psalms 56, comes, 56 and 13 comes to me. And then what my ultimate goal is, ultimately what I want more than anything else is to hear him say, well done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What a so word. if you want to hear well done, then you just keep on yes. going for the Lord and yes. you will get. Or, yes. or, and, and, and do I well. Call, and do well. Mm -hmm. And I call that finding your why. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Why? If you know what your why is, that why will keep you going. Praise the Lord. That Thank was you. a word. Thank you so that much. That was a word. Because again, you, we, we're out there. Yes. <laughs> There's nobody out there with us. Mm -hmm. You know, what sustains us during that time is yes. the word of God. And yes. finding just that, that scripture sometimes. Just one scripture. One scripture. Yes. That you hold on to. And it does help. And the praise the name yes. of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank so you. So this has been Dr. Marcy Bryant of Building the Virtuous Temple Ministries. Mm -hmm. You've got to connect with her. Thank you so much. Wonderful, I look forward wonderful, to it. Wonderful, wonderful woman of God. It's been our pleasure just to meet you, Dr. Marcy, spend a little time with you. Oh, wonderful. You know, I love to put the face with the voice and, and all of that. <laughs> and you are doing extraordinary things in the kingdom of God. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure being on your show and an Praise absolute pleasure meeting you. Amen. This will not be the last time. I we know meet. that's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us again here at Heart Ministry Radio Network. This has been the Extraordinary People broadcast again with Dr. Marcy Bryant of Building the Virtuous Temple Ministries. Come to us often, heartministryradio.com. There's so much going on. Praise the name of the Lord.